on Breaking Tech because I'm joined live by an outstanding, I have to say, guest because of his technology, of course. Oren Aharon, uh, you're the CEO of Hour One, and what Hour One is all about is turning really humans into virtual companions. So uh, what you're doing out there with the uh, AI company, uh, that's your specialist in the development of those virtual humans for the use in professional video communication exactly. at first. Exactly, so Hour One is a generative AI video creation company. We create presenter-led videos with stunning 3D environments already today for leading companies in the world. Uh, big brands and SMBs are using us on a daily basis to create a lot of content, mm -hmm. including news companies. So Oren, tell me, uh, can anyone create its own digital clone? Yes, yeah, so today announcing here on VivaTech, our iOS uh, app that is called uh, Pocket Studio, anyone can come in, search for our one, and create his own virtual human after six seconds of video creation, uh, video capture, and then immediately go to our platform and start creating content with yourself. Well, that's probably what I'm going to do in a few seconds, but I saw actually my colleague, Emmanuel Kessler, uh, from uh, Capital, exactly. that is the director, of course, of uh, this uh, news outlet. Uh, give it a try. Um, he seems to be pretty happy. It seems to be. Pretty happy about it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, the quality is already staggering. Uh, people can clone their voices and can clone their faces in really high quality. Uh, it's not what we've seen like a year ago. Now, Genetive AI is actually striking the mm -hmm. best quality out there and uh, people are very happy with the results. Well, that was actually one of our questions because uh, on the video I've reviewed on the Harrow One uh, website and even with uh, um, Emmanuel Kessler's uh, uh, try, uh, the voice was not really uh, matching a human one. It was more like a robotic type of voice. I was wondering at first if it, it was still room for improvement when it comes to uh, uh, having a more human type of voice or if it was made on purpose so that we don't have this uncanny uh, you know moment no so to tell the truth uh, the technology is still a bit behind but it's improving very fast today we already integrated the best quality in voice in the world in our product it's an enterprise customers only get this one but anyone that comes to our platform can clone his voice today automatically by himself so we have voice and face already there. So the, the entire idea of your technology, for instance, I mean, your, your hardware is going to scan me and then turn me into a virtual presenter, probably, and then, I mean, my uh, virtual twin will be used for many different things, like presenting the news, presenting a lot of different things. Um, how about copyrights? How about GDPR? Exactly, so our one is a GDPR and SOC 2 compliant company. We keep these things very important for us because we serve the best businesses today in the world. Uh, and now, once you are talking about copyrights, our one is the only company in the space of generative AI which actually build a mechanism that get the copyright for each video from the creator, like from yourself, mm -hmm. every time, and basically give it uh, with the video to the broadcaster. So we are the only one who actually serve you with your copyrights every time you create a video. Now, there, I mean, there's still some concern about video and voice when it comes to deep fakes. Um, how can you prevent your technology from a black mirror type of effect? Yeah, sure, so that's a very uh, important part of what we are doing and the way we operate. So every person who captured himself in here on the booth, J61 and, and with their app, is basically going through a moderation uh, a team that really recognize that this is a true person. It's like a true KYC process that we do for everyone coming in, and only then you can use it. It takes something like 10 minutes. Uh, their character is ready after one minute, but moderation takes a few more minutes, so we want to be sure it's you, and this is very important for us. So now about, how about emotions and creativity? Because of course, I mean, the entire body, face, are seamless. You're telling me that the voice will be in a, in a few uh, months from now. Uh, but I mean, how could we actually, you know, like improve that part of generative AI? Because I mean, to me, it sounds like or looks like the ChatGPT, uh, the face of ChatGPT. Yeah, so you are correct. So one of the layers that we are building in with our research team is the emotion level of your character. And the emotion level needs to go with the content 
and everything needs to work together. So when you go to our platform today, you can prompt one line, create me an ad for uh, uh, Viva Tech, for example, and immediately you get the text, images, the virtual human, the theme, everything is there. We are currently training our algorithms mm -hmm. to actually add the emotion level into the scene, and then immediately you get uh, the, the video endlessly you know, playing like a real human in a 3D environment. I mentioned before that we are doing newsrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, we can create these environments, and we have news companies in the US, in Germany, that works with us on a daily basis to create a lot of news content, and well, it looks very natural. I hope so, we'll see if uh, VT News is presented by one of your virtual humans next season, but uh, the it application, will, it, will. it will, oh no, no, please don't. I still want a job, you know, in the future. Uh, the applications are definitely endless. Of course, we talked about news, we talked about television, entertainment, we talked about uh, professional communication, but this can be also human resources, right. uh, e-learning, right. name them. So, a lot of e-learning companies today are coming and creating classes with us 3D environments of a class and a teacher working, so top uh, companies in that space. Learning and development all over. Uh, a lot of big companies using us because we have 3D virtual uh, templates. Uh, usually you get very basic there, but we have a, a, a crazy type of 3D content that we can create for you. Uh, and a lot of companies are using us for product marketing, social marketing, and, and customer success applications. So all over, uh, you know, you see a lot of companies using us today for these applications as well. Well, actually, a virtual presenter or a human one, you'll have to uh, make your mind for uh, next season. Thank you so much, Oren, for uh, stopping by breaking uh, tech. Now you know that uh, it's going to be literally the sensation of the afternoon. Elon Musk is about to take the stage uh, mid-afternoon uh, at the Dome here in uh, Viva Tech. And of course, Simon Harding, you know, is like scooting uh, the conference to uh, see what people, you know, are feeling about uh, this upcoming talk uh, from uh, uh, Twitter's uh, main investor.